Hi and welcome to InstaSuite. In this training video, I'm going to show you how you can integrate the WordPress plugin for InstaSuite with your WordPress website. So right now, we are already in the dashboard. So the first thing we need to do is find the plugin and download it to our computer. Alright, so in order to do that, we go to the top right column and we'll, you're going to see your name here instead of Neil name here. You click that and you're going to see WordPress plugin and API token. You're going to click on that and we're going to be redirected to the WordPress plugin and API token page. Now, from here, you have a big green button here where you can download the InstaSuite WordPress plugin. So we're going to download that and we're going to save it on our computer. Once the download is complete, we simply go to our WordPress website's dashboard. We go to the plugin section, as you can see from here. And from the plugin section, we click on Add New. And we click on Upload Plugin. And then from here, click on Choose File. And click on the file that you have here. It's going to be named as InstaSuite for WordPress.zip. Click on that. Click on Open. Click on Install Now. And click on Activate Plugin. So right now, our plugin has been activated. You'll, you'll be able to see it on the left menu here. And from here, we just simply copy and paste the API token. That is, this is where you can get this as well. On this page, just copy and paste this entire code here. And click on Save Token. Now, once you click on Save Token, it will be saved. And from here, you're, if you can go to the page section of your WordPress site, you can create a new page here. And instead of using the regular WordPress setup, all you have to do is just click on Enable InstaSuite Landing Page. And you simply select whatever page you want to use. Now, it, this wouldn't matter if you have any kind of uh, theme. It will be replaced with the layout for InstaSuite. So let's say, for example, I'm going to use Syndranker here, for example. All right. I'm going to click on Publish. There we go. Our page is already published. If I go to this page, for example, here, this should show our sales page as well that we created with the, with the InstaSuite platform. And of course, if you want to make that the home page, all you have to do is just go to the settings section of your WordPress site. All right. And from here, go to the reading page and select static page and select whatever page you created for that in our case is either this one click on save and now the entire site is now based on that page or funnel all right so this feature comes very handy especially if you already have one domain name and you don't want to use it specifically for insta suite rather you'd like to use a wordpress site so that you can have other things on that website as well. So if you have other plugins, if you have other pages there and you want to keep on using them, you can use this method instead of using the domain mapping. This way you also get use your own domain name of all, on all the pages you select, but you also get the flexibility of WordPress as well.